Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a um, pen mail video featuring two special edition fountain pens from 2020, which I'm very pleased to have got hold of. Um, the first one being the 2020 special edition Lamy All Star in gold and the Conklin Endura Abalone. So I ordered these from Cult Pens came really quickly uh, usual good service from cult pens so very pleased about that and let's open the packaging i don't normally do this but i'm so excited i thought you know what let's do a full unwrapping and unboxing and let's see what uh, see what these look like so first off out of the packet the obligatory Lamy cardboard sleeve. I don't. Really, I don't really know why they even bother with these, but you know, if you wanted to uh, give the pen as a gift, then yeah, it's it's an option. Let's put these over here to one side. All right, that's the packaging out of the way. So the Lamy. Now, bear in mind the Lamy All Star. If you buy it in a retail shop brick and mortar store you most likely to find the um these in uh, blister packs but when you order from cult pens and pure pens uh here in the uk you get them in these cord cardboard packages so this is the oh, there's the end of the cardboard this is the lamy all star oh come on focus Focus. It's never going to focus, is it? Try again. Oh, it's not going to focus. That's very, very unhelpful of this camera. But here we are, the Lamy All Star 2020 Special Edition Gold. Um, it is somewhat similar in tone, at least, maybe not colour, to the um, Lamy All Star Bronze Edition from 2019. Uh, this one has a black clip though, rather than the um, uh, silver chrome coloured clip, and it is quite a muted gold colour. It's not, it's not in your face. It's uh, it's actually quite a nice looking fountain pen. It's got the typical Lamy uh, All Star. The focus is shocking at the moment. Let me move these out of the way if it's struggling a bit. Probably this sunlight, which I am actually going to use to uh, display the Conkling. Uh, it comes with the usual uh, all-star smoky translucent feed. This seems a little bit paler. Uh, unscrew that and we've got a cartridge. Oh, it's interesting. It's a black cartridge, almost always blue. And the cardboard protector so you don't accidentally turn this too far and puncture the cartridge. I will be doing a full review of these uh, these two pens in due course because I have got the perfect ink lined up for this because this comes with, or I ordered it with a, excuse the tractors going past, this is ne it's just never going to focus. Uh, I don't know whether you can make that out but it's a broad nib. And this is one thing that I do like about ordering from Colt Pens and Pure Pens. You do get the choice of nib options with these Lamy Fountain Pens, whereas if you go into a stationer's, when they are open, you often find these blister packs and they almost always seem to be available with medium, uh, medium nibs only. So I've got a really, really good ink to use with this broad, ink, uh, broad nib. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Review coming soon. So please do hit subscribe, turn on all, all notifications if you want to see that when it comes out. So, next one, Conklin. Let's turn this around. Endura Abalone Shell Limited Edition. Is it a limited edition? I thought it was a special edition. So there is all the text so we go I mean, <laughs> it's pretty obvious what it is when you look at the box uh, yeah anyway there is a backstory to this and just pop that down while I'll tell you 
When I first started my fencing pen journey in 2017, one of the first pens that I actually thought I'm going to splash out on rather than just buy $2, two pound Chinese fountain pens from China was a Conklin um, fountain pen. And it was a horrible, horrible writing experience. I mean, really awful. I even did two reviews of it because I actually did a review, hated it, tried tuning the nib, still hated it. <laughs> so I've been a bit apprehensive about Conklin. However, I do know that they have changed to another manufacturer's nibs, so I'm hoping that that will be the case with this pen. I was never going to buy another Conklin. I really, really was that put off by the brand. And the only reason that I really wanted this was because it looks absolutely stunning. I've never seen the pen in person, but from videos and photographs, the Conklin Endura Abalone fountain pen just looks spectacular. You're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to waffle for a bit because there is a, more of a backstory to this. I did uh, watch one YouTube review of the Conklin Endura Abalone fountain pen, and the guy, and I can't remember the guy's name or the channel's name, but even he was like, yeah, it's a beautiful pen, tried writing with it, and he was like, this is rubbish. So I'm not expecting a great deal. I am even willing to change the nib in this fountain pen. It's difficult to find this uh, Conklin Endura Abalone fountain pen in the UK. Cult Pens got some stock in just before Christmas. This is so uh, December 2020. And I was debating whether or not to do it price was in my opinion just too high and I thought no I'm, I'm no I'm not not that interested at all however I was listening to one of the pen boy Roy's uh, pentatainment podcasts uh, fairly recently and it was in his top seven pens of 2020 and they were discussing it and saying you know it's great because it is a beautiful pen they've actually managed to make the pen look like it's faceted but it's actually you know cylindrical in cross section really nice looking pen and I thought oh you know what I'd really like one of these but I'm never going to get older one in the UK um, and that night I googled went on to google did a search for I, I, I think they actually mentioned Laban do a fountain pen with abalone shell and I thought Laban has a good reputation I'll see if I can find one of their Laban Abalone fountain pens. I know, just typed in Laban Abalone, and the first thing that came up in the search feed was an advert from Google, so a sponsored advert from Cult Pens for the Conklin Endura Abalone. And I thought, now this is just some advertisement bot that's picked up on the old listing because I, I even emailed Colt Pens and I said look if you have any more of these Conklin Abalone pens in stock I am interested and they replied back and said very sorry we only got a very limited stock in we will not be getting any more because it's a special edition limited edition so sorry but no not going to happen and that was December 2020 so here we are in January 2021 and I was searching and the search result came up with Colt Pens, Conklin and Abalone Fountain Pen and I thought that's it's, it's a mistake. So I didn't even click on the advert, I clicked on the advert and I thought it seems to have gone through to the Colt Pens website. So I thought you know what, I'm going to come out of this, open a new browser window, proper browser window, go to coltpens.com and have a search for this fountain pen and it came up and it wasn't something where it was out of stock or not available it actually said it was in stock no nib options no nib choices but it said it was in stock and I, I just immediately went oh you know what add to basket add to cart I'm having it I'm not going to miss out and this second time I'm not going to miss my opportunity to get one of these fountain pens so I added this and the Lamy all-star to uh, to my cart and happily checked out now even better so Colt Pens have this in stock, these two pens in stock at the moment, and they even have 10% off, which really did sweeten the price quite a lot on um, on this. So that was a no-brainer. 10% off, 
both of these pens. Additionally, I, down below in the description, will place my referral link. I don't get paid for advertising cult pen stuff. I'm not, it's not a paid promotion. None of that sort of stuff goes on with my channel. I actually purchase pens for myself. They're not loaned or gifted or anything like that. So this is all my own hard-earned cash that I use to buy these fountain pens, which is why I focus on the cheaper fountain pens. Um, so if you head on down to the description, expand it below, I will give you down there a Cult Pens referral link. If you click on that link, it will take you to Cult Pens, and you should be able to get a further 20% off site-wide on everything, including these pens. So I don't know whether the codes will actually work, whether the 10% off on these pens will work with my um, referral link, but it's definitely worth a try because you get 10% off that price as well. So do bear that in mind. These pens are still currently in stock with Cult Pens. So I would really advise you to be quick on that. Um, so yeah, really happy that I got this. Really, really happy because I thought, you know what, I might even have to resort to some other perhaps lesser um, abalone fountain pen. So let's do the unboxing of this one. So we've got a cardboard sleeve around the typical... Oh, come on. There we go. So we've got the Conklin Leatherette Blue Case stitched. These are quite nice and they're quite weighty, heavy things. Open it up. Right, what have we got? We've got the usual thing. Instructions. Blah, blah, blah. Endura, Abalone. Limited edition. Okay, so, yep. Let's have a look at the pen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh come on, let's let's get this camera focused properly on this. There we go. That is actually really, really quite stunning. For my sins many years ago, I actually um, was self-trained in jewellery and lapidary techniques, so I know how difficult it is to get consistent pieces of abalone or poa shell. New Zealand uh, abalone, that type of material, in decent enough strips. These strips really are. This isn't just like little bits of shell inlaid. These are, you know, good quality pieces. I mean, there are some, you can tell there are some little joins here and there. But yeah, that is very, very well inlaid. And it is flat. You can see that these are flattish pieces of abalone shell. However, it is coated in this resin and it is indeed this rounding section. You know, there are no flat bits and that is really, really lovely. The um, the clip, the finial, centre band and jury on there. Yeah all nice rose gold which I think really matches it I'll just try and see that it says limited edition right okay I'm trying to read this here on the cap band it is indeed a limited edition so limited edition of right okay this looks like 1898 1008 1000 898 I'm guessing and this looks like 0557 so yeah it is indeed a limited edition unscrew that nice rose gold section a little bit on the short side there is a bit of a step up but it's smooth black steel nib black plastic feed nice looking pen Perhaps a tad on the short side for um, for what I was expecting, but never mind. Unscrew this. Yes, we have the 
and I think this should be yeah it is a screw in converter so yeah I found that the Conklin converters these things actually are pretty good so let's screw that back together and admire the pen I will do a full review of this fountain pen as well we do have the crescent shaped let's just use this as a background crescent shaped breather hole there on the nib so I am very interested in seeing how this writes. That nib isn't actually aligned on the feed. Okay. So it, it, this, this is going to be an interesting experience seeing how it writes. But yeah. Beautiful looking fountain pen. Really, really, really very attractive. Good quality workmanship on there We've got Conklin on the uh, clip there so there we have it two very nice not to be always available fountain pens 2020 um, limited edition Conklin Endura Abalone and the Lamy Safari gold so do hit the subscribe button and uh, and watch out for my um, my upcoming reviews and thoughts on these fountain pens so thanks very much for watching and i shall see you next time bye <laughs>